This is Katie Hunter from MA UK. I'm here with your Cage Warriors welterweight champion, Reese McKee. I feel like I'm going to cry. You're, you're going to be scared to look at me with these cuts in my head. Uh, even looking at myself in this, I was like, who is that? So, yeah, good to see you. Good to see you too. That was one of the most amazing fights I've ever witnessed in my life. How did it feel to be a part of it? Yeah, unbelievable. You know, 12, 14 weeks, it was like, I just couldn't miss a beat. Like, um, done everything right i thought i was doing stuff right my whole career and then i brought in nutritionists and and done funky little things that, that just worked and i like, asked my coaches and my team like i haven't skipped the beat in 14 weeks you know everything just got better and better and and tonight really shows that like sometimes you think a fight camp can't go perfect a fight camp just went perfect and the fight went even better maybe not perfect but it went well do you feel like you really stepped it up in this camp then you feel like you just found another level um like I developed so much since I came out of the UFC, like mindset wise. Um, you know, I have a lot of experience, a lot of uh, stuff went on like through that, and a lot of like soul searching, not to sound too um, uh, whatever you call it, but I just done a lot of deep diving into my mind, and like I'm just such a stronger person now, and yeah. I feel like I'm 35 instead of 26. Do you know what I mean? It's I just developed so much. And talk to me about the fight, like the momentum was swinging one yeah. way and the next and it was just, it was, <laughs> I was trying to, I felt like I was holding my breath watching mm -hmm. at times. Yeah, me too. Um, you know, we were in the jaws of victory and the jaws of defeat, yeah. back to victory, back to defeat, back to, you know what I mean? And then, yeah. like, I remember at the end of the first round thinking, this is a five round fight here. Yeah. But although I was fresh, relatively, um, <laughs> it was just great. Like, I, I really, really, really enjoyed the fight. And like when the blood was dripping and um, it was just all going on, wasn't it? What a fight. <laughs> what a fight. Like. It's a, I'm looking at you and I'm thinking, <laughs> Justin actually looks worse. Yeah, like um, oh, 100%. And like, I, have a, I have a tattoo in the back of my forearm and it says somewhere between psychotic and iconic. And I am somewhere. You found it. Yeah, I'm, I'm somewhere between psychotic and iconic. Tonight I'm more psychotic, but tomorrow I'll be iconic. And, you know, to do it in Belfast City, like, unbelievable. <laughs> Talk to me about the crowd. It was just, it, it didn't feel like a Cage Warriors event. It felt like a UFC main event. It felt like a Reese McKee show. That's exactly yeah, what it, it felt like. Um, listen, when I was a kid and I was 15, I walked into Rodney's in Ballymena. I remember my dad uh, took me to Rodney's and said, this guy's going to look after you. And, um, fuck here we are 12 years later and like it's just i'm going to get emotional but um just unbelievable like it's, it's so it's so fucking it means so much to me and and to rod and all the team and my dad like it's unbelievable and it's like yeah this is just this is just a bit of metal but like it's a signify of the hard work and yeah. to be able to drape it in the gym it's going to be really really special like and to do it and in, in here i remember I, I lost in the serena too a uh, little broken orbital went to hospital that night too um, to come out, like it's just oh, fuck, it's just so good. Like it's gonna just be unbelievable for for the rest of my life. Like this could be the night of my career forever, despite where I go. I'm so so yeah. so happy oh, for yeah. you. This fight was the reason that I got on a plane and came here. I had to see you collect that mm -hmm. gold, and you just put on the performance of a lifetime. Yeah, like really, you have to kill me to get me out of there. Like. Oh, it's just unbelievable. That's going to be hard to top. And listen, big respect to Justin and, and the TFT. He was amazing as well. And you know what? He's such a stud. It was the first time I met him a few weeks ago, him and his girlfriend, Lauren, I believe. And, you know, I didn't think that would bother me too much because I believe I'm a nice guy. But, um, like, he was a real nice guy. And, yeah. like, I was actually thinking about him a lot this week. And um, I have so much respect for him and his team. And, you know, it didn't make it any harder to punch him, but, like, <laughs> it made him a bit harder to see him upset because... Yeah. Could listen, it could that was me. awful. It could have been me if two and a half minutes ago I didn't do something or didn't listen to them. Yeah. So, uh, listen, it's very real. I could have lost as easily as I could have won, but yeah. I mean, you would have kill me. <laughs> Absolutely phenomenal. Thank you so much for your time. You are the champion. Yes, thank you so much. <laughs>